plant that is actually near and dear to my heart. It is a plant that actually really kind of kicked off my love of gardening as a kid. It's the staghorn fern. You've probably seen this everywhere. It is a really unique plant because it's an epiphytic plant. And what I mean by that is that in its natural environment, it actually grows off of trees or other plants and it gets all its nutrients through its fronds, which is really different. It makes it an epiphytic plant. And I remember as a kid thinking when my neighbor had it growing on a tree, how is that possible? And now I understand. If you look at a staghorn fern, you'll notice that it has these really cool antler shaped fronds. That's actually how it got its name, the staghorn fern. But it also has these different fronds here. These are called shield fronds. And normally they start off green and then they turn to brown and that is okay. Never remove the shield fronds. They're actually really important for protecting the root system and all of the fronds absorb water and nutrients. So leave it be. One of the things about a staghorn fern that is really, really cool. Now this one is in a pot, but I want to show you, we have one here that is mounted on a board to kind of simulate a tree. And we are going to do that for you later in this video, but I just wanted to show you, we just used some moss, mounted it on this board. And then this is the perfect place for a staghorn fern is in a bathroom. And the reason is it loves tons of humidity. Remember it's a origination is from the tropics. So that is what it loves so much. As far as watering goes, mist the staghorn plant regularly. It loves that. If you can try to mist on the underside of the fronds and then occasionally, especially if the moss feels really dry, you should soak the staghorn fern. Soak it for like a couple of minutes. Let that water just run right through and get that moss really damp. That'll really help it through and really thrive. As far as light, the staghorn fern is a little different than most ferns. It likes a little more light. It loves a brightly lit space, but it doesn't need direct sunlight pouring down on it. That could actually burn it. So somewhere in a bathroom would really be a wonderful spot for a staghorn fern. You could even hang it on your shower head and just make sure you leave the curtain open so the light can get through. The other thing about a staghorn fern is fertilization. It actually loves fertilization. Just a simple balanced fertilizer. Once a month would be perfect. Very easy to use. A liquid one would be great. You could even mist the staghorn fern with a liquid balanced fertilizer. And now what I wanna do is I really wanna just mount it on that board. So stick with us as we do that.